Breaking news, Nigerians. Premates Ayo Dele releases new prophecy for Nigeria. Says Nigeria is about to fall if Nigerian government refused to look into Mazin Namdekanu's continued detention. <laughs> they say, well, I'll be like Basico. The leader of Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church primates, Elisha Ayodele, has released another prophecy for Nigeria government. According to him, Nigeria is about to fall over this Mazin Namdekanum's case. Namdekanum's case will bring this country down. That is why it's very important for the federal government of Nigeria should, as a matter of urgency, release the IPOB leader, Mazin Namdekanum, to attend to his health. Because something seriously bad is about to happen. I can see that cloud over the country. But this can this can this can be also averted, I beg your pardon, if Bowari led federal government of Nigeria will listen and release Namdi Kano from detention for him to attend to his health. Well, in this matter of Mazin Namdekano's health, President Mama Dubwari refusing to let him go, this, this, and that, and all that. <clears throat> this thing don't pass, be careful. You understand? Nigerian government do not want to release the IPOB leader despite his health conditions now. His lawyers have been crying out. That Kano's health is really deteriorating. Kano is having a heart problem and all that. But the government do not want to know. They do not want to know. And this is bad. Just like what every other person is saying. It will not be nice if anything happened to this man in DSS custody. I only say this that Kano have no business. He has no business with uh, DSS detention, but he's still here because of intimidation. Kanu is sick. The government of the day do not want to know. Maybe they want to use this as a plan B, since the other one did not work. Recall that President Muhammad Buhari said the other time that Kanu must defend himself. He should go to the court to defend himself. You understand? He do not want to interfere in judiciary process and all that, that Kanu should go to the court and defend himself. Is the judiciary will determine Kanu's, uh, you know, fate. But today, there that is there is contrary to what is going on, because the same person who said he will not interfere is interfering. On Sunday, a group of medical practitioners, you know, raised the alarm over the worsening health condition of the detained leader of, of, of the indigenous people of Biafra, I probably can saying he could die in detention if he's not released to go for proper medical treatment. They told the federal government that. The group, which made a call in an open letter to Buhari, they issued this on Sunday after meeting in Abuja, pleaded with the president of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari told as a matter of urgency, ordered the immediate release of Kanu to avoid crisis in the country if the Biafran agitator should die in the DSS detention facility. So you see, even without somebody coming to tell you that I heard from God or God spoke to me, you should understand what will befall the country. If anything happens, forget those people who are always saying, uh, People have died. Nigerian government have done this and that, and Nigeria did not fall. That one is a different case. Because this man has been released. You understand by the court of law. This is Nigerian court of law. So you have no reason being in that DSS custody. That is the reason why, uh, if anything happens to him, it will cause a big damage to the country. It will cause a, a, a big crisis in this, to this country. 
but the government of the day, they don't want to know. You know, when you are desperate, you don't think about other person, you know, yourself. Whatever happens is not your business and all that. That is what desperation is. This government is so desperate to deal with Namdekano. So they don't want to care what is going to be the aftermath of what will happen, which we are praying that such things should never take place. Of course, yes, they are desperate to deal with him. They don't even care about how the Southeasterners will survive this. They don't care how Nigeria will survive this because they are desperate. Desperation is a virus. When it eats into you, it take over you. You just be thinking direct, one way. That is the reason why AGF, a whole son, went to commit a crime. He committed extraordinary rendition crime. I call it crime. Yes, it's kidnapping now. Is it because they are speaking English? Knowing too well that is really a very serious matter. That is desperation for you. These medical practitioners affirm that from their interactions with Kano's lawyer, a legal team, and his family, Kano requires immediate release for urgent medical assessment and treatment. The letter said a recent med medical report at their disposal had revealed that Kano has a pre-existing heart condition, which, according to them, has worsened by his continuous imprisonment due to poor nutrition, psychological torture, social isolation, and all that. Now, this, they've told President Muhammad Buhari to please, they should, as a matter of urgent, release Mazen Namdikano so that uh, 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 Kano, we say Kano need uh, proper medical care, okay, so that we be alive and all that. Now, this man of God have confirmed this now, said that he can see a dark cloud that is about to be for Nigeria, that this Namdikano's case will we bring Nigeria down if Nigerian government do not do the needful. He also said that this can also be averted if Kano is released to attend to his health. So there is a solution to this. What is the solution? Release him. Let him attend to his health. Because he has been discharged by a competent court of jurisdiction. You understand? So guys, I'm dropping it. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.